what is up you guys my name is madison and it's like really dark outside so if the lighting is bad i apologize to be showing you my makeup collection and my makeup setup because it's not really just my makeup I guess I don't know um yeah there's really nothing more to it I'm not trying to brag um yeah I have a lot more makeup than I should have but I don't have a super big collection it's really like contained I guess you could put it yeah Let's get on with the video. Okay, so this is kind of like my setup type thing. Yeah, super small. So, um, on my windowsill, I really just like, it's where I keep all my brushes. Like, yeah, very, I have a lot of them. These are my everyday brushes and my eyelash curler, my beauty blenders, other eye brushes, other face brushes. And then I have, that's like a look. Yeah, don't focus on my that's like a lip gloss but i don't use it as that because i like it um just kind of like that i have a glass angel a little a little uh snow globe from where i used to live and this was a christmas present last year from somebody that i work with yeah and then this is actually like a bookshelf from walmart that my dad got me but i used to put my makeup and stuff on so over here I have a lamp don't know where it's from probably from like Home Depot or something or Lowe's yeah right here I have two more snow globes from my childhood uh, that's Tinkerbell it makes noise this is a ballerina because I'm a ballerina this is where I keep my everyday makeup I'll go through that later this is like a Kendra Scott box eh. but I keep hair ties in it and the headband yeah this is a mirror that I don't use, so it's like super dusty. Yeah. So, here, um, my everyday makeup. It's just a little case from phys the Physician's Formula. So, hey, this is just my everyday makeup. I have the Wet n Wild foundation and totally focused. First of all, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory because you girl is pale, even though this is too light for me, but that's okay. I have some Mary Kay Loose Powder. Mm -hmm. Um, it was my mom's. It's good for baking. Yeah. My other product. So, and then I have the Rimmel Stay Matte in 03, or 003 Natural because this is darker and it makes my foundation not make me look pale. Um, this is the concealer I use. It's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. And I don't know. It doesn't have a shade on it. Probably the lightest shade. This is the blush I use on an everyday basis. Um, it's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in Innocent Flush. And then. I have the Tarte Print Park Princess Avenue bronzer. Yeah. Then I have a baked highlight from e.l.f. in Blush Gems, I think. Yeah, Blush Gems. Um, this is why I use my eyebrows, if you're wondering. The only thing I have for my eyebrows, actually, it's the Brow Powder by Pixie. It's really good. And then my eyeshadow palette that I use every day is Naked 3. My mascara that I use is the Great Lash in brownish black. Um, and then the primer, Airbrush Away Primer by number 7. Two lip products. Yeah, two lip products in here. I have the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Zurich. Here's Zurich, something like that. Yeah. And then the Revlon Lipstick and Smoky Rose. I'm going to focus. Oh, okay, and I have an eyeliner in here. It's just from Maybelline. I don't like eyeliner. 
I don't know why I have it. Yeah. I only have, I really only have makeup in this compartment right here and then these three drawers, but I'll go through the rest of them because why not? So over here in this little mason jar, I have another one of those eyeliners and then a mascara that I should probably throw away, but I don't want to. And a really old brush that I don't even know where it's from. And then I have my palettes. So this, this would be somewhere else, but it's too big. So it's just here. This is from Physicians Formula. It's like their holiday thing. I have the Smashbox and Golden Hour. Yeah, um, I broke one because I dropped it. We love that. And then I have a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette in infrared. This thing is eh, super messy. Yeah, it just looks like that, you know, that shimmer shade right there exploded, like, in the mail. And then I have the NYX Brights because I like bright eyeshadow. And then I have this Estee Lauder one that I really only use for the mirror, so I don't feel like opening that. And then I have the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and that's just like, it's like a Z palette, but I don't really use it. I only have like two or three single eyeshadows in there. Yeah. And then over here, I have the majority of my makeup. But like up here, I have just two headbands because why not? I don't wear them because if you wear a headband, you can't wear gla I can't wear my glasses. But in this first drawer, um, it holds mostly my lip products, but I have some eyelash glue, a mirror that has a pencil sharpener in it, and some box to one of my lip things that I didn't feel like throwing away, some travel loose powder, and some you know, travel eyebrow stuff, yeah. So, so in here, um, these are four more Revlon lipsticks that I have. Amera K, this is a huge Huda Beauty Lip Strobe and Snobby. This is a Revlon lip gloss. Is it Revlon? No, this is a L'Oreal, L'Oreal lip gloss. Wet n Wild lip gloss, which is basically the same thing as this, just slightly lighter. This nudish lip gloss, this clear lip gloss, um, Too Faced liquefied metallic lipstick in Dream House, and then I have it says lip gloss, but it's really liquid lipstick from Hikari in Marlot, and then a Bite Beauty liquid lipstick in I don't I don't even know if it'll focus. I'll let you see it for yourself. No? Okay. Yeah. In this shore right here, it's bronzers, blushes, highlights, and then right here I have, or right here, yeah, right here I have four single eyeshadows, except for this one is the one that shattered in the Smash, Smashbox palette. And then this is actually a blush, if you didn't know. The Hot Mama, I use that as an eyeshadow. And then I have Nude Dude and... Me matrimony um, from the bomb, and then I have this Mars loose eyeshadow that I got from Ipsy, but I don't. Yeah, and then up here I have my really beaten up, you know, contour thing that I actually still use a lot, and then the only other bronzer I have is the Specifica thing, blush and sun kissed. The yeah that back there three blushes i have this one from flower beauty which is fairly new and i've only had it on once it's in sweet pea you could probably see it but i don't know it's not going to focus um this really beaten up blush which i used to use all the time from la colors because i used to like the only blush i had and then this bella pierre loose blush that's like really pretty in desert rose then I have the White and Wild Dolce de Leche powder duo thing, yeah. And then the Precious Petals highlighter from Wet and Wild. This L'Oreal nude, glow nude highlight thing, yeah, it kind of sucks. And then I have this highlight trio, yeah. This highlight trio from Sin Color. And this cream contour thing from Wet and Wild. Yeah, that's, that's that. And then in my last drawer. Okay. So my last drawer, this is all like the rest of my face products. 
So right here I have, well technically I have three, or not three, five primers, um, but this is like really just like a skin illuminator, so it's basically a highlight that I like to put on under. Um, a mini version of the Hangover, because I like love that. I, I love that primer a lot. Um, Airbrush Away Pore Minimizing from number seven. Um, this one is the Radiance Boosting. This is just an e.l.f. primer. Um, I have the Airspun Powder, the one that, you know, gave James Charles major flashback. Then I have an eyeshadow primer uh, from Elizabeth Knott. Don't use eyeshadow primer, so it's just in there. Then I have my, like, summer foundations. Um, I have the Maybelline Superstay foundation and the Maybelline BB cream. Then this foundation, it's like it's like my dance foundation. I will only wear this to dance. Um, this is from a company called Limelight. Recommend. It's really good. My two setting sprays. Uh, I've been set up by Perfectly Posh and the L'Oreal Infallible. Uh, yeah, and then I have a concealer from Maybelline. Yeah. And this um, Cots face thing. Yeah, it's really nice if it not would match my skin tone. And over here, it's like, I have a few hair things, two eggs, and just some random jewelry. Below that, it's lotion and the one hairspray that I have that I should really get rid of. And then this one right here, it's jewelry. And then in this thing right here, this box, I have movie tickets, one to a planetarium, one to the Memphis Orpheum, and then one to a football game that I went to. It's the only one I ever paid for and cared about. Yeah. Um, this right here, it holds all my jewelry and some random things. So this is my necklaces. Um, this is the... Yeah, is this the necklace that I'm wearing right now? No. Okay, so this is the necklace. Um, it didn't come in this box, but I got rid of the necklace in here because... Yeah, this is a necklace that one of my best friends got me for my birthday last year, and it's really nice. Um, this holds the necklace that I'm wearing right now and the earrings that I always wear. Um, this is just my Ken Scott necklace, and this holds me. This holds my moon necklace, even though, again, this is in the box that it came in. And then below that, I have... Um, not dangly earrings, dangly earrings, but mostly just hoops. Um, my rings and then my bracelets in here. Oh, I forgot to mention up here, these are basically all chokers. And then one below that, this is all just miscellaneous things. I have extra sponges, an extra container, some tweezers, a comb, my glasses that broke because somebody had to step on them. Um, the thing to wipe my glasses that just makes silver shiny and just an extra box in case i want to get another necklace or something and then over here i have all my hand sanitizer um and then in this converse box i just have all my scrunchies